Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn about MQ-135 sensor, that is your air quality sensor. So with your MQ-135 sensor, if you click the sensor carefully, you will see that there is a stray button over there, MQ-135. So now, let's see how we can use it to identify the air quality and we will use our ancillary module to display it. Now, if you see it carefully, you will find that we have four tens. So the four tens which we have are your analog pin, digital pin. We have ground and VCC. So ground and VCC are for powering it up. Then we have analog and digital pin. So this module can work in both. That is in analog mode as well as in digital mode. Apart from that, we have this potentiometer which is used to adjust the sensitivity. Now, after that, you can see that we have an LED here. And also see LED written over there. And we have this one also. So one is for your power. So this is your on. So like this is your power pin. And like, this is your power pin because here power is written over here. And this is here you can see the output is written over there. So here you can see this is your output LED. So like when it detects or like after a threshold, that switch, it will detect that the air is polluted. So this LED will blow up and we can always set the sensitivity using the potentiometer. Now let's see how we can interface this with our uh, Arduino and show the value in our LCD. So for that, let's go to our Arduino and let's start by defining the pins. Let's set pin mode. Now we are going to use the analog pin because we want it to be more precise. So let's say we are going to connect an A0, so A0 pin input. We have because we are going to fetch the values from here. Serial dot begin to see the values. For now, after that we will be seeing it in our LCD. Showing that let's use a variable as the end and um, q value and I'll do read a0, which is only a single parameter which will be passed to read the value. Now let's use a serial monitor, serial dot print ln to display the value. We are going to display MQ values. That's it. The code. Let's uh, load it and run it. Before that, we have to make some connections. So let's use some jumper wires. So here I am using like three wires only because I have to power supply it and use the analog pen. So here you can see. Analog pin and two pins for power supplying it. Let's use PCC and ground for power supply. That is our 5 volt and ground. So you can see an LED has been turned on because this is your power LED. This LED will turn on when it detects the polluted air. We connected it in A0 like that. Let's detect some air quality. So let's upload the code. After uploading the code, we are going to use the serial monitor to see the values. So let's use the serial monitor to upload and upload it successfully. So here you can see this is our serial monitor. Let me let me use your word perfect. So here you can see we have value around three uh, thirty. Now what we are going to do? We are going to use this value and enter it in our LCD display. So for that, you can see that in our LCD, we have four pins, that is VCC, ground, SD and SCL. VCC and ground for powering data, and SCL and SD is for your I2C communication. And here we also have a potentiometer to like uh, increase and decrease your, your keyboard gesture. 
your strokes on your text. So let's do some jumper wires to connect it also. Let's connect our LCD also. So we are using it to make jumper wires. Let's provide a VCC and ground. So after connecting the wire, let's make a connection. Let's go to our code and here start by including our liquid crystal library and wire attached library. So we will write. Crystal library and then your wire uh, extracting view wire dot h library. So these are the two libraries which we are needed. After that, we have to display our LCD that what is the address and as well as the how many rows and columns we have. So we have to write. Name of the display LCD. After that, we have to define 0x27, that is the address, and then we have to define how many rows and columns to 16 cross 2. These are the rows and columns which we have. So, this is it for our declaration. Now, let's go to our setup and initiate our LCD. So, for that, we will write like LCD dot init for initiating it. So, like this, we have uh, initiated the LCD. Now let's also turn on the backlight. Backlight is this display yellowish color. Now, in the uh, world loop, what we have to do? We have to set the cursor and we have to print it. So let's say. LCD dot set cursor, it will take two parameters that is your make a little row. Uh, it will take two values that is your uh, column and row. So let, let it start from 0, 0. After that, LCD dot print to print text. We will use double quotes to write the text that is your. Here quality. Now after that we want to print it. So see dot print the air quality and we have defined the air quality by MQ value. So let's upload the code. So here you can see we have uh, you can easily display the text written over here. Let me bring it up. Here you can see air quality and in front of that we have the value. Currently it is like centered around. So like that you can also print the air quality index in our register display also. And one thing to notice is that it will it might take some time to settle your air quality sensor. It will guess the surrounding air and it will concentrate it. So that's it for today's session. See you in the next session.